Hello everyone, welcome back to VLSI classes. I am Lavanya Vaishnavi. So today we will take up module 2, chapter 2 which is basic circuit concepts. So in this basic circuit concept, we are going to discuss about sheet resistance, what is area capacitance, what are the delay units and uh, inverter delays, what is the rise time and fall time in that and finally we will uh, understand how does an cascaded inverter drivers will be working with respect to delay. Firstly, we will study what is sheet resistance. First, we will try to define what is sheet, re sheet resistance. So, in this sheet resistance, let me take a layer of material. So, it is a layer of material. It can be any sort of material. It can be poly, it can be diffusion or it can be a channel also. Okay. Or it may be a metal also. Okay. So, it is a material. So, semiconducting material or it may be material that is used in a fabrication process. So, this material has a length of L and it has a width of W and the thickness of T. The resistivity of the material is given as rho. The resistivity of the material is given as rho. So, these are the properties of the material. So, in this material with respect to the same material, first I will define what is the resistance. So, taking resistivity into consideration, let me define what is resistance. From where to where you are defining the resistance? From node A or from point A to point B. From point A to point B. What is A? That is area of cross-sectional area. So, this cross-sectional area is this one. Okay. So, this is the cross-sectional area. So, which is the cross-sectional area here? This is the cross-sectional area. So, in this cross-sectional area, what is the dimension of it? It is W into thickness, right? So, A is equal to thickness into width. Suppose, suppose if the area uh, or if the width and the length are equal, that is if I tell the feature size which is equal to L by W is equal to 1, that is the feature size is equal to 1. <coughs> so, if I say that L by W is equal to 1, then your equation becomes RAB is equal to rho into L divided by L into sorry T into W right. So, because L and W are equal L and W get cancelled you will be re remaining with rho by T. So, look at this what is RAB equal to it is equal to rho by T which is RS. What is RS? RS is the sheet resistance. RS is the sheet resistance. So, it means that sheet resistance is the resistance offered by the given material offered by the given material whenever the length of the material is equal to the width of the material whenever the length and the width of the material are equal. The next is sheet resistance. So, sheet standard sheet resistance table. So, in this table, you will be having three technologies defined. One is 5 micrometer technology. The next one is orbit technology. And next one is orbit to 1.2 micrometer technology. So, what is this technology defines? It technology defines the length of the channel. It defines the length of the channel. If I say 5 micrometer technology, it defines that the channel length is 5 micrometer. If I say orbit technology, the channel length is 2 micrometer. If I say orbit 1.2 technology, I, it means that the length is 1.2 meter. Now, these are the standard values of reference given. So, using this, you have to calculate the resistance of value. Okay, you have to calculate the sheet resistance value. Now, let me calculate the sheet resistance value of the given device. So, you are given with an NMOS device here. You are given with an NMOS device whose uh, length and width are specified. Now look at this. So it is forward slash therefore this region or this one is diffusion and this is poly. Okay. Wherever the poly crosses diffusion there exists a channel. So this is the formation of channel. Okay. This is the formation of channel. In this channel formation so because this is poly this terminal is gate this terminal is gate. The uh, the separation between gate and gate is width W is 2 lambda. Okay. So, if this is gate, 
any one of the terminal will be source the other will be drain so separation between source and drain is 8 lambda which is equal to l okay which is equal to l now z is a parameter z is a parameter that defines the aspect ratio which is z is equal to l by w okay so what is the length now 8 lambda what is the width it is 2 lambda <coughs> okay so l by w will will give you the value 4 so l by w uh, so how do you calculate the resistance now the resistance is calculated as z into rs z into rs so what is z we calculated it as 4 into rs what is rs to which material you are finding the sheet resistance we are finding the sheet resistance of the channel of the channel so go back to the table and look here which transistor i am defining for n transistor right for n transistor channel 5 micrometer technology in 5 micrometer technology what is the resistance value it is equal to 10 power 4 ohm per square ohm per square therefore here you will multiply it by 10 power 4 ohm per square ohm per square so this is the way how do you calculate the value of resistance next is sheet resistance of n mos and cmos structure n mos and cmos structure so before analyzing this look at this transistor look at this transistor in this transistor you can clearly say that l is greater than w right l is greater than w if i take l by w ratio that is l is to w it will be equal to 4 is to 1 right so this is one of the transistor where you have or this is the way how do you increase the length of the transistor or length of the channel now coming back to this so for n mos i am taking pull up logic for pull up logic i am taking the length as 4 and width as 1 okay for pull down logic i am taking length as 1 and width as 1 so what will be the total resistance total resistance i will be calculating when both the transistor are turned on both the transistor are turned on that is when both are at saturation region both are at saturation region at saturation region here the ratio will be 4 into 10 power 4 and here it is 1 into 10 power 4 so in saturation region if i calculate the total resistance value i'll be getting it as 50 kilo ohm i'll be getting it as see 4, 4 into 10 power 4 plus 1 into 10 power 10, 4 which is equal to 50 kilo ohm similarly here so you will be calculating the resistance as 25 plus 10 kilo ohm 25 ohm plus the 25 kilo plus 10 kilo ohm so this is how you calculate the <coughs> resistance of given mos inverters next is standard unit of capacitance what is the standard unit of capacitance and how it is defined so standard unit of capacitance is uh, defined in terms of square cg first one first we will calculate or we will analyze how is the capacitance area is calculated so we know that c is equal to epsilon naught epsilon r that is relative here it is insulation insulating layer therefore i'll take insulating layer a divided by d what is d d is the thickness of oxide region so in many cases you can also define it as tox that is thickness of oxide layer so here you have the terms defined okay so now we will see how what is the unit of square c like what is the unit of standard capacitance how it is defined first i'll take a uh, material i'll take any two material across which you have the capacitance effect so in this material or in this material when the value of length is equal to width what is the capacitance that is exerted there that is termed as standard unit of capacitance which is which is square cg 
So it is defined as the gate to channel capacitance of the MOS transistor having W equal to L feature size. So the feature size will be W equal to L. So to calculate it, how do you calculate it? First is area by square. How do you calculate the area? For 5 micrometer technology, it is 5 micrometer into 5 micrometer. Okay. So for 1.2 micrometer technology, you will write it as 1.2 into 1.2 micrometers. Okay. So 25 micrometer is the area of minimum size of transistor. Now, how do you calculate the gate capacitance value? From the table, so look at the table, they have given you the table. In this table, we will be taking the relative value. So that is how you have taken here, 4 into 10 power 4. And standard value square CG is given as 25 micrometer into 4 into 10 power 4 picofarad, which is 0 0.01 picofarad. So coming to this table, this table defines the standard value of capacitances. When you are taking two layer gate to channel or if you are taking diffusion or if you are taking polysilicon to substrate, metal 1 to any of the other layers like metal 1 to substrate, metal 1 to metal 2 to substrate, metal 2 to metal 1, metal 2 to poly. So if you are taking any of these layers, so you will be having two values here. The first one is absolute value. These values are absolute value and these values are relative value. These values are relative value. So according to the given problem, if they ask you to write up, uh, if they ask you to calculate the value in terms of absolute value, you will be choosing the first column. If they ask you to write or calculate the values in terms of relative values, you will be choosing the values in the second column. Now, in the first column, whatever the values are there, if you take these value, the unit will be in picofarad into 10 power minus 4 micrometer square. If you take the values that are relative, then your unit will be square CG. Then the unit will be square CG. Now, go for the next slide. In the next slide, uh, these are the important points. So, if you want to calculate the value of the capacitance, you have to make note of this point. There are only three points here. The first one is you have to calculate the relative area. You have to calculate the relative area. How do you calculate the relative area? Actual area divided by standard size. Actual area divided by standard size. And for this, whatever the relative area you get to this, you will multiply with the capacitance value. Capacitance value. What capacitance value will multiply? You will multiply with the relative capacitance value. These are the relative capacitance values. So using these value or by taking these value, you are multiplying the given relative area. The next, the last step is whatever the product you get, whatever the product you get, the product has the unit of square CG. The product has the unit of square CG. So, this is how the area capacitance is calculated. Now, let me have a simple example. In the simple example, I have taken a layer of material. So, what type of material it is? It is metal 1. To this metal 1, I have to calculate the I have to calculate the relative capacitance value. Given that the length is 20 lambda, width is 3 lambda. So, now I have to calculate what is the first step? calculate the relative area to calculate the relative area i should multiply or i should find the area actual area which is 20 lambda into 3 lambda so normally to these problem they'll be giving you the feature size they'll give you the feature size now l into w what is l l is the length which is equal to lambda or oh, sorry l is the length of the channel whose value is equal to where lambda is defined as L by 2. Therefore, L will be equal to 2 times of lambda. So, in this problem, we know that L is equal to W, right? So, which is equal to 2 lambda. So, feature size will be equal to L into W, which is 2 lambda cross 2 lambda. Okay, 2 lambda cross 2 lambda. Therefore, 20 into 3 divided by 2 lambda into 2 lambda. So, these lambdas get cancelled, you will be remaining with the value 15, with the value 15. Now, capacitance to substrate, like what is the capacitance? 
from metal 1 to substrate is relative area into relative C value. So, go back to the table. Okay. So, going back to the table. Here, I want to calculate from metal 1 to substrate layer. What is the value? So, look at it. It is 0.3 and 0 0.075. What are we calculating? We are calculating the relative value. So, I will have to take the number in the bracket 0 0.075. The same number I have taken here. So, look at it. 15 into 0 0.075 square cg whose value is equal to 1.125 square cg. Understood? So, this is how you calculate the capacitance of the given layer. So, in this example, you need to calculate the capacitance that is occupied or, or you have to calculate the total capacitance. To calculate the total capacitance, first we have to calculate individual capacitances, individual capacitances. So, how do you calculate the individual capacitance? First is metal capacitance have to calculate, then for polysilicon, okay. So, after that you have to find the gate capacitance, then total them up, sum it up, okay. First, metal capacitance. Where is the area or which are all the metal area I have to consider. So, going back to the diagram. So, look at the metal area. From where to where you have metal area. This complete thing is your metal area. Which is 100 lambda into 3 lambda. Right. So, I calculate 100 lambda into 3 lambda divided by 2 lambda into 2 lambda. Whose value equal to 75. Now, multiply by multiply the 75 with the standard value of given relative capacitance which is 0 0.075. So, you will get it as 5.625 square cg. You got it as 5.625 square cg. Similarly, polysilicon. Now, I have to calculate what is the area of polysilicon. So, this polysilicon is occupied in this layer or in this contact. Therefore, what is the area of this contact? It is 4 lambda cross 4 lambda. Not only that, this polysilicon is covered in this part of the area. This part of the area. So, shall I give you in a different color? So, it is occupied in this part of the area and this part of the area. What about this region? This is channel. So, I can't, I can't take it. So, it is covered. Where and all the polysilicon is covered? In this part of the area. So, what is the area of this part? First yellow part, biggest, it is 4 lambda into 4 lambda. And the small yellow part is 1 lambda into, so see here, it is specified here. Here it is specified, 1 lambda into 2 lambda and this is 2 lambda into 2 lambda, right? So, I will add it up, I will add everything which is 4 lambda cross 4 lambda plus 3 lambda into 2 lambda which is 22 lambda square. Now, polysilicon capacitance Cp is equal to 22 by 4 into 0.1. So, where did we get this 0.1? Go back to the table. Going back to the table. Yes, I want from polysilicon, polysilicon to substrate. Look at this. Polysilicon to substrate, it is 0.1. It is 0.1. Therefore, we got it as 0.1 into 22 divided by 4 whose value is equal to 0.55 and gate capacitance is equal to 1 square cg because the unit is 1 square cg. Look at this. Where is the gate you are having? You are having the gate here. Okay. So, this is the gate region whose value is equal to 1 square cg. So, it is 1 square cg. Total capacitance is summing all these values. You will be getting 7.20 square cg. 7.20 square cg. Hope this is clear. Thank you for watching this video. So, if you have any doubts, you can write me back, like the video, share the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.